streets of London are just like fucking covered in graph and we've been relatively inspired by that. But I suppose one thing that we're sick and tired of is like all these graffiti artists that try so hard to remain underground. I mean, every single street artist wants to be underground. It's so fucking mainstream. I know. You know, Bunksy was the first one to take the underground thing mainstream. And he's such a fucking seller. I mean, doesn't that defeat the logic of being underground when you use being underground as your selling point? No? Uh, yes, it does. No, no, but... Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yeah. My no was rhetorical. My yes was correct. True. Let me share a parable with you, okay? So one starts off above ground, but then they go underground. And the further one goes underground, oh, you end up above ground again. Or you end up somewhere here, which is called the mainstream. Being in a true state of underground is when nobody actually knows you exist. I mean, you, f for all intents and purposes, don't exist. Yeah. You don't have a name, you don't have a body of work. Nobody knows if you have a place that you live in. Totally, and we wouldn't be talking about you right now. I mean, all those things said, like we do see a place in today's modern society <laughs> for street art. Because totally. look, you know, the popo frown on it, and <laughs> um, it's a bit of a crime. I mean, it's not a real crime. It's kind of like a poor man's crime. It's like society gets disappointed in you, you know? Like that shit was totes heavy when your mum used to pull that back when you were five years old, but when it's a bunch of carb munchers from the bill wearing tacky blue suits, who gives a flying fuck? <laughs> We all know that art is a communication. <laughs> we know that. We're not stupid. <laughs> no, okay? we're not. Fuck, don't and look at me like that. Look, look, most artists actually want to communicate something. They yeah. want to communicate an idea or a concept or even the beauty of that particular object. But that's been done to death, bro. Boring. Done to death. We don't, we don't want to create a communication. We want to enable a communication. Sorry for turning the industry on its head, you know? Apologies. Like, what we're actually doing with our graph is our contact deeds. Oops. Straight up. <laughs> Oops. Every other graffiti artist shirks the responsibility of what they've just done. So they put on a hoodie and they run through train tunnels and they, they even tag a name that is generally not theirs. It's like some ghetto spelt euphemism, symbolism version of their own name, which so only their friends hard. know them as. It's actually way more underground to be completely accountable for your work and to take immediate responsibility for what you've just done. We are taking responsibility. So we are being the bigger people. And that is so underground for Graf. It's never been done. It's a fact. I mean, fucking look it up. Sorry for being an adult and taking responsibility for my actions.